Hey guys, it's Carrie again from Dispatches from the Frat House. Okay, I'm outside again because, again, the baby is taking a nap. The baby has never been a good napper. This has been nice, don't get me wrong, but the baby's never been a good napper. I have time to get stuff done, guys. Um, I'm outside because kids are home, preseason football is on the TV, and I didn't think you guys wanted to hear that in the background. So, can I tell you something else I've noticed? Completely unrelated to anything Evernote or Filofaxes. Maybe related to YouTube videos a little bit. When I'm in a hurry in the morning and I put my makeup on really fast, I don't realize how much makeup I have on until I look at myself in a camera on an iPad. Oh my gosh, I look like I put it on with a trowel. Would you look at that? It's crazy. And I'm not recording this video again, so this is like my fourth go around with it. So I'm going to run you guys through really quickly how I use Evernote to archive my planner pages. Um, I'm going to show you how I scan a page. It's really simple. It's literally like three taps on your screen, and that's it. Um, I'm just going to use a blank page or a fairly blank page and because I have a lot of personal stuff in there. And then I will show you how to search it in Evernote as well, and that will pull up one of the older pages. If you have any questions, comments, love comments, you guys, uh, suggestions for how to do this better, um, let me know. If you think I put my makeup on with the trial, let me know, okay? I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, hey guys. So here is how I archive my planner pages in Evernote so that they are searchable, and I always have all of it with me. You can install Evernote on any iDevice, uh, Mac, PC, Android devices. You can even put it on like a Barnes & Noble Nook, a Kindle Fire. So it's pretty ubiquitous. You can find it pretty much everywhere. Um, I'm going to show you an example just because I have a lot of personal stuff in my planner. So this is an empty, obviously empty page. So what you do is you open up Evernote have it right there and you're gonna tap this little icon right here it's a little document and it gives you it's just like taking a picture you get a frame you snap the picture you can tap in the center if you feel it needs to be focused a little bit better you can do several if you want to create one note that has several pictures in it you can do that it'll give you a count right here as to how many you have and then you check mark when you're done and it'll create a note and I'm gonna sneak it out of there real quick because it uses GPS uh, to auto label the notes if you want it to. So let me get rid of that and then let me show you how you find them as well. That's it. It uploads the note to Evernote servers. If you give it honestly just I've had it go within a minute or two they've already scanned that document and it's fully searchable by text. You can take pictures of you know if you like wine you can take pictures of wine labels and those are fully searchable. Um, let me close this up because the wind's blown. So now, how you find this stuff, if you go into All Notes and pull this down just a little bit, there's a magnifying glass right here. If you hit your magnifying glass, and I recently searched for the words New Banner. I wanted to look at when the last time was I tweaked the banner for my website. So you would type up here, but as you can see, it also saves your recent searches. If you hit New Banner, there are all the notes I have that have New Banner in the words and the title, and here is my note that had new banner in it. And as you can see, it's even highlighted right there. This is the word new, this is the word new, that's the words new banner. That's my March notes, all set, available anywhere. Um, Evernote is free. I'm not getting anything from them for doing this. I just, it's like my most used, most favorite app. It's um, something I use every single day, have for over five years. So it's not like I'm getting anything from them. It's just a little tip to pass on. Um, I did before take pictures of my pages. I mean, I think I saw that Kent from Oz does that as well, which is very smart. The only reason I take it a step further to Evernote is that it's searchable. So I can search that text and find it um, without me having to flip through pictures or try to even remember, gosh, it may have been this month, it may have been that month. So if you have any questions, let me know. Any comments, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye-bye.